elementary row operations and the effect on the determinant. Suppose we have two square matrices. If B is obtained from A by interchanging two rows, the determinant of B is negative determinant of A. Take a look. Here I have this three by three matrix, and I'm going to apply one row operation interchanging two rows. Let us interchange row one and two. So this guy becomes one, two, negative two, zero, negative seven, 14, zero, three, negative eight. So if I calculate the determinant of this matrix and this matrix, see what is the relation. The determinant of this matrix, let us call it matrix A, and then let's call this guy matrix B, is equal to, so you can expand it with respect to the first column. There you have the sum A, okay, I1, C, I1, I starts from one and goes to three, all right? So this guy is A one and one, C one and one plus A two and one, C two and one plus A three and one, C three and one. A one and one is zero, so this guy is zero. A two and one is one times C two one, and this guy, A three and one is zero, so this guy becomes zero. The only thing you need is C two and one. Cij is equal to negative one to power i plus j and the determinant of mij. So here you have negative one. Write this guy down here. C2 and one is negative one to power three. M2 and one. Again, remember M2, the second row, and one, the first column. You need the determinant of this two by two matrix. So you have negative one times the determinant negative seven, 14, three and the negative eight, which becomes negative one times 56 minus 42, which is negative, let's see, 14. So the determinant of A is negative 14. I just interchange R1 and R2, and I'm going to find the determinant of matrix B. Determinant of B, let's just expand it with respect to the first column. So this guy is equal to the sum AI1, CI1, I starts from one and goes to three. A1 and one, C1 and one plus A2 and one, C2 and one plus A3 and one, C3 and one. A1 and one is one, so you get one times C11, Plus, this is just zero, this is just zero, so you end up with one times C one and one. Again, following the formula, C one and one is equal to negative one to power two M one and one. But here now you are working with this matrix. So the very first row and the first column disappears and you're working with negative one to power two, which is one times the determinant, negative seven, negative 8, 14, and 3. This is negative times negative, positive. 56 minus, here you're multiplying these two, you get 42, which is positive 14. So again, if you interchange two rows, the determinant of the second matrix is the negative of the determinant of the first matrix.